Hey guys, I'm getting ready for my sister's big Halloween party and in the interest of time I decided to start the boring stuff first and then just take you along for the rest of it. Um, I did kind of a little trial run the other day so I have an idea in my head of what I'm trying to do um, but I wanted to make a few tweaks to it so we'll see how they turn out. And um, I'm already running into difficulties because my white makeup the other day went on so smooth and just great and today it's super dry and when I would try to do the next layer it would lift the one before it. It was just a disaster. I was doing it with a sponge first like I did the other day and that just kept pulling off the layers and so I ended up using my fingers and it's going to be what it's going to be because I don't have time to wash. I already washed it off once completely and started it over and it's still doing the same thing. So. This is what we're getting. And I've got a fancy little hairdo going on because I have my hair French braided and then flipped up and bobby pinned up so when I put my wig on, it's all nice and up there. So, basically, for my sister's party this year, she just, uh, her family always does like a theme, like her and her husband and her three girls. But um, this year she decided to kind of extend the theme and have everyone who's coming be part of the theme. And it is clowns. And so my idea was to do a normal girl who is being taken over by this clown, okay? So um, I knew that wasn't like a new idea, but I didn't realize how many of them actually were out there, but I wanted to do it different than any of the ones I'm seeing. Like I'm seeing a lot with the It clown, but I don't wanna do that because it's kind of like, and I think it's awesome, like I, I've seen people do some really cool stuff with that, but like I wanted to do something different, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. So basically I've got my clown part of my face going here, and then I've got my normal girl face. I already did my eyebrow um, because the other day when I waited until I had the white on, it made it like a weird optical illusion. I could not get my eyebrow right. It was really weird. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do the makeup on this side. So I'm going to start out and use my Zulu palette, which is funny because I used this palette last year for Halloween when I did my um, Beetlejuice look, which I will link up here if you would like to see that. It's very easy and something that you could do if you have a party coming up. Um, that you could do that look if you want. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette and go ahead and do my eyeshadow over here. And I wanna make it like glam. I wanna be glam on this side and then the clown taking over. So I'm just gonna get into it. Okay, and I know I wanted to do woo, um, this glitter because I really want to glam it up. So um, I'm going to use some glitter glue and put that on the lid. That glitter has the perfect like color reflex for what I'm gonna be doing because you'll end up seeing how it'll all come together in the end. But um, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna leave, I'm going to end up putting a lash on, but I'm gonna wait until the end for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my um, face makeup over on the normal side.
Okay, and here's where we're gonna get into the real fun stuff. So, we're just gonna see how this goes. I have, like I said, my idea from what I did the other day. So I have like a general idea of what I'm trying to do. Um, but I also learned some things along the way with that that I wanna change, so. I think the first thing I need to do is my eyebrow on this side. So I'm going to do it dark and I want to look mean. <laughs> like I want it to be kind of creepy. Which the first time I did this it didn't come across that way and so I was like eh. And I, but I didn't make like a faux eyebrow so I feel like this time if I do that that should help. So. Wish me luck. Yeah. And I'm going to create like the diamond shape that I want. <sighs> okay, I learned last time to, obviously I don't want it pink like that, I want it red. So I use my NYX Liquid Suede in um, Cherry Skies, and that is what I am using to deepen up the color. So here, here we go. I'm gonna let that first layer of the red dry and then I'm gonna go back over it to intensify it. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and go in. Actually, I'm gonna use a black eyeliner and fill in this eyebrow and make it really black because I want it to really stand up. I'm be real honest with you, nothing's turning out like I had envisioned, so <laughs> we're just gonna roll with it. I don't know what else to do. Okay, um, next up, I'm going to use this black here and I'm going to um, go out and like in a shadow around that diamond shape.
Okay, so the basic look is done. So I'm just going to um, go ahead and let this dry. I'm going to outline it with black liquid liner and put my lash on and when I come back my wig and everything will be on and you will be seeing pictures of my full costume. And so here is my finished look. It's not quite what I had envisioned in my head but that's okay. Um, I'm not some professional makeup artist. And uh, so it's this glamorous girl who's being taken over by an evil clown. I don't know how evil it looks. In any case, it's going to be a fun party and I can't wait to see everyone's costumes and um, just get to hang out with everyone and have fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have a very happy Halloween. <laughs> Bye. Oh, and stay tuned until the end because you'll see pictures. My sister went all out and decorated so cool for the clown theme. Um, this is just me kind of at the end of the night. It was like 2 in the morning and I don't drink but my eyes were really red because I was really tired. Um, this is some of her decor that she does. She just honestly goes all out and does things so cool. That is my sister Dana who throws the party and you can see the Welcome to the Carnival picture back there on the wall. The creepy little It by our treats there and over to the left are the cute little Rice Krispie treats I made. Um, this was just a really creepy thing she had right in the middle of her living room that was really cool looking and this was over top of like the you know dessert table type thing. This is my family. Um, this picture is kind of blurry, but the next one's better. But on the left is my son's girlfriend, Noelle, and then my son, Gavin, my husband, me, my son, Asher, and my son, Riley. So that was fun. Those are two of my nieces, Lund or Lily and Eden. That is my dad, and his costume was really cool because it was based off of a picture that he colored when he was five, and he won the coloring contest for. So he, you could see the picture on his shirt. That's my mom with him there. But, um pretty cool that he did his costume like that. That's my son, Asher, my youngest son. And that is Asher also. And it was his 14th birthday. So my, my little guy is 14 now. And this is my sister's dog, Darby, just chilling in front of the fire and enjoying all the pampering she was getting. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this.